Hello, my name is Stephen Carr and I'd like to welcome you to another cooking class with AutoCAD. In this session, um, what I'd like to look at is setting up camera views, adding some light, and rendering. Um, with the drawing the way it is, I've imported, inserted my wall lamp, my vases, my ceiling lamps, I brought in some our pictures that we created, so I'm just ready really to try and set up a camera view. So I set up a camera view, just click under view and create a camera. So I'm going to bring in the camera, I'm going to use my point X, Y and then just pick just in this corner here and my Z, I'm just going to go 5 foot 6. My camera view, again, I'm going to go point X, Y. And I'll just pick this corner over here. And for the Z, I'm going to say 3 feet. Um, I can give it a name. And we'll just call it Cam1. I want I can set the lens it's set for 50 now I could change that to 40 and that will increase the viewing angle and X for exit so when I click on the camera now I can see I can make it wider So things are looking not too, too bad here. So I'm going to escape that. So now I'm going to set up a second camera. So I go into view again and create camera. Again, point X, Y. Set this here and then five foot six. And pointing over here to point X, Y, and again, three feet. Name, cam two, and then um, lens. And it says 40, so I'll leave it at 40 and exit. So again, I can increase the width of it and that's pretty good now with this view here the way it's set up I can go into my view or over here into my top view view manager and I can go into either one of my camera views at any time so this is kind of helpful because um, what I'm just going to do a couple of, I just noticed a couple of little things here. I'll just cancel this. I'm going to just orbit. And I see that I have a couple of legs that got left behind from moving my furniture around. So I'm just going to try and select those. And I'll just try to move them. As close as I can guess from here. That's really good. So now I'll just go into my layers and I'm going to turn my ceiling on. So all my layers are turned on. I can go into my view manager and click on camera one, set current, apply, and OK. So this is my view that I've set in here. Um, I'd like to add some lighting, so I'll go into render here. And we can add different types of lights here. This is creating lights. I've got point light, spotlight, distance, web light. So I'm just going to create a point light to start with. Turn default off. That's fine. And I'm going to locate this on the end of this line right here. And we'll just call this... D 
L1, dish light 1. And there's a few things we can play with with it, but I'll just put them in here for now. And now I'm going to do add another one. And again, I'm just going to go on to the end of that light there. And then name DL2. And I'm going to add another one. And just have to orbit a little bit to get it to find it. There we are. And name DL three. And then one more and and I'll just click on here, name, DL4. Now, um, again, I'm just going to pan a little bit here. Maybe I can actually change to my other view. Okay, so these are my three, <clears throat> these will be the three lights that I have for my spotlight. So I'm going to put some spotlights in here. So I'll click into here, spotlight, and I'm just going to go to the center of here. Okay, so I'm having a little trouble getting hold of these things, so I think I'm just going to go into my top view here. And I'm going to turn off my ceiling layer again. Okay, so I'll try the spotlight again. And <clears throat> I'm going to point this. I'm going to say my point Z equals here. And I'm just going to point it away from the wall. Point Z equals here. F3, I'll just point this here. And... Exit. So just want to play with this light a little bit. There we go. And I'm just going to copy this. From the center here, center he here, and the center here. 
So I probably should have another spotlight set here. So I'll go in here and set a new spotlight again. And I'm going to go point X, Y. Just pick on the floor here and then for Z, I'll pick point X, Y. Pick here and the end point here for Z. And I'm going to go to the midpoint here. So I'm just going to go back to one of my views now. I'll turn my ceiling layer back on. Go back into render. And I'm just going to render to see what we have. Just going to put this on. So what I've done with my lighting is I've created, we have our different lights we have. We have our lamps, our hanging lamps, our dish lamps. We also have our some spotlights in here. So these um, all sort of have a, quite effect on everything. So if I actually can select these things here, all of these, look at the properties. And now if I look at the properties, there's a lot of stuff varying, but I'm going to go down to the bottom where it says sh shadow details. I'm going to drop this from sharp. We really don't want any sharp. So we're just going to go soft sample and we, we, our shapes fine. Uh, maybe just drop this to our sample down to say eight. So by changing the amount of shadow that's created by these different, do the same thing on the spotlights, knock down the shadows because we don't want sharp shadows from lights. So I'm just going to put this into render. So once this is rendered, we'll have a look at what we've done with it. And I think you're going to be quite surprised. So I'll just put in pause while I render this. I'll put in render and pause. Now this is my rendered image. I think things are looking, I think there still needs to be some more work done here. Probably work on our lighting, maybe our material for our uh, fixtures. Uh, I do have one spotlight in here, which I need a fixture. Probably could add a couple of more spotlights to round everything off. But I think we're in a pretty good shape. So uh, hopefully this gives you a good idea of setting up a camera view and also adding lighting fix, two types of lights here. Um, you have to play with it a little bit and do a little bit of work. And then when you're finished with it, then I think you'll be very happy. So thanks a lot and see you next time.